What's going on everybody, Simply Pops here, and today I'm gonna be showing you guys some of my favorite tech of this year. This is nothing too serious, we're just gonna vibe out today, we're not gonna be talking about specs or anything like that. This is more of a laid back chill video. Grab your hot chocolate, grab your drinks, this is just a vibe, that's all. So let's vibe out together. Tech number one, this one definitely did surprise me. It's a robot vacuum cleaner. Now this robot vacuum cleaner, I've been using it for a month now, and I was skeptical. This vacuum cleaner is from Kavo, and I gotta tell you guys, once you have a robot vacuum cleaner, it'll be hard for you to go back to a traditional, going back and forth and taking it, it's just too much. Well, it's not too much, but you guys get what I'm saying. Anytime I make a video, the aftermath, the room is normally a mess, because I have lights everywhere, I got this every, it's a lot, the box, but when everything is said and done, when it's time to clean up my room, I tend to just use this robot and it just does a wonderful job. So my room is always clean. It's interesting. It's the same technology used on the iPhone 12. It has a LiDAR scanner in front of it. Way more advanced, I would say, because it's a larger sensor. And it just scans the room and it knows exactly where to clean. So if there's an obstacle in the way, the vacuum is not going to go there. So it cleans hardwood floors. It cleans carpet. And not only that, it mops the floor too as well. And then when it's said and done, it returned back to his base for charging, but it also empty out the trash bin inside the robot. So the trash bin, somehow it gets into the base and you don't even have to do nothing. And you even have a schedule so you can set a time on when to clean the room. So guys, this is the coolest tech here. And that's why, that's why I had to put this at number one. This is definitely cool tech in my opinion. And if it's anything has, if anything, anything to do with cleanliness, anything, Anything to do to keep the room clean, I definitely support. And especially, you don't even have to do nothing. And the suction power is there, it has a remote, and it even has echo support. So you could say, Alexa. turn on the vacuum or turn on the robot. It is just remarkable. And you even have a built-in app so you can see exactly the room. So you can see the layout of the room and see the obstacles. <sighs> well done, Kavo. And next up, at number two, we have the next generation consoles both the PS5 and the Xbox Series X and Series S, this is a wonderful way to start off next generation. The loading times are blazing fast, incredible graphics, 4K 60 frames per second, but this is definitely a major improvement. And having this kind of uh, power for $400 or $500 respectively, and I know the, the scalpers are taking over it, this is just incredible. I had to put it on the coolest tech of 2020. I am gonna make a comparison between the PS5 and the Xbox, and it's a very close call. A lot of people don't like getting the Xbox, it's easy and this and that, but the Xbox is no slouch either. The Xbox is a more powerful system than the PS5 actually, in terms of the GPU, but then the controller, in my opinion, is a little bit more comfortable than the DualSense. And then also you have quick resume, you have Game Pass, the list just goes on and on for Xbox. But on the other side of the coin, the PlayStation, you have the DualSense, you have a built-in mic, and this is just a new controller. It's not the same old controller. But for someone who skipped the Xbox One, this is definitely a new Xbox, like totally new Xbox. And yeah, my last Xbox was a 360, so yeah. Review coming soon on both the next-gen consoles and I'm gonna be doing a comparison. To go along with the next-gen consoles, you might wanna upgrade your router. Now, this is the Nighthawk XR1000 from Netgear. This right here, this is gonna optimize your online gaming experience and it just makes sense. These new consoles, especially the PS5 with Wi-Fi 6, it makes sense to have a Wi-Fi 6 router to correlate with the speeds of the consoles. It improved the download speeds, the upload speeds, it just pushed the boundaries even further. Now, at number four on the list, right here, the Magic Keyboard case, this is my favorite. Apple accessory of 2020. This right here transformed the iPad into a laptop. Like it's, it's a tablet now, now it's a laptop. This is incredible. Apple hit a home run on this one. It has a backlight, it's bright. You have a clicky trackpad, it can click anywhere. And most importantly, it floats. I mean, who doesn't like things that float? You guys can see the theme of my room. The TV is on the wall. My monitor is mounted up. I just like things that float in mid air. It's just so much cooler and having this floating, it adds to the design of the room. Now, speaking of Apple knocking it out of the park, we have the M1 MacBooks. These are Apple's brand new 
MacBook. So we have the MacBook Air and we have the MacBook Pro. This is the Air and I gotta say, this is an awesome step. So Apple's moving away from Intel and I did say I'm not gonna make this too techy, but all in all, this is the same exact chip found on your iPhone or iPad. It's optimized for the Mac. This is incredible. So it's one little chip that powers the GPU, the CPU, and even I think the RAM too. I think the RAM is on there too. So it's an SOC chip, system on the chip, and the speeds on that is almost one-to-one -to, -one to my 16-inch MacBook, almost, but my 16-inch is still faster. So yeah, and even if you go with the Air or the Pro, in this case, there's really no wrong answer. You have the same exact chip. Now, next up on the list, we actually have the Samsung T7. This is the latest and greatest SSD, external SSD from Samsung. This is literally the centerpiece of Simply Pops. So this is what I use to edit all my videos. And yeah, without this, it wouldn't even be like no video editing. Uh, I could still use the eternal storage on my MacBook, but these video sizes are massive. So save yourself some money, buy an external SSD instead of giving Apple your money to upgrade the storage. Yes, it's integrated, you don't have to plug anything in, but it's gonna save you a lot of money in the long run because this is going for $150 for the one terabyte, which is expensive. Yes, it is expensive, but what would you rather, pay $150 or pay $400 at Apple? I mean, you, you do the math. This is just massive. I have the T5 and I have the T7. I just brought the T7. It is just a lot more faster than the T5, but the T5 is still no slouch either. Next up on the list, we have a thermostat. Now, yeah, you guys are probably yawning, boring. No, this is not no ordinary thermostat. This is the Nest third generation learning thermostat. Now, there's nothing cooler than being able to control the temperature of your room or office or bedroom, whatever the case may be, right here on your wrist, on your Apple Watch, your iPad, your iPhone, whatever the case may be. And since it's a learning thermostat, it'll come to the point where you don't even have to set anything. You don't even have to touch it because at a certain time, it'll know when to set that temperature. So this is incredible. It is a little pricey at 250 for a thermostat, I know, but once you have it, you understand the benefits of it. And being able to control the temperature while you're laying down in bed, sometimes you wake up, it's a little cold, you wanna control the temperature. You can stay in bed a little bit and control the temperature. Man, I can't stress this enough to you guys. This thermostat is one of the coolest tech ever. We're getting into the juicy stuff now. We get into the juicy stuff. We have the autonomous smart desk. This is the desk right here. You guys see it in the background. This is easily one of the coolest, dopest tech ever. And shout out to Autonomous. They send this out. Now it's not sponsored. This video is not sponsored. This is literally the epicenter of my office. Now this is what makes this desk so cool. It could go up or it could go down. So it's going up right now as we speak. And I don't get worried. A lot of people say, oh, don't you get worried when you move the desk up and down, I don't get worried. So yeah, so this is a standing desk. So it's an auto standing desk. We live in those times where we're forced to work from home. So why not pick up an awesome desk? You can pick up the cheapest desk for $300. It's automatic. You can stand it up, stand it down. Now this is the most expensive one. This is L shape. It's $800. But at the same time, it's worth it because you can be able to stand up when you need to, keep the blood flowing, keep the motivation going. And then when you're ready to sit down, you just press the button and it go down automatically. Now you can set the height, you can set everything. This is just dope. And it's just cool. It's just like goes up, goes down, go up, go down. Yeah, and it's really good from a practicality standpoint too. And it's just those times that we live in it. We have the Sony A7S III. This is the camera that you guys are seeing on right now. Now, prior to this camera, I had the 80D. That was my primary camera. That was a DSLR. It, it only shot 1080p, but it was just time to upgrade. And going from that camera to the A7S III is literally a day and night difference. This is a mirrorless camera. It shoots up to 4K, 120 frames per second. You have so many features, and it could be a little overkill for me, and this could be overkill for YouTube in general because, well, you have so many bells and whistles that YouTube doesn't even support it just yet. But it's good to be future-proof and whatever it takes to have the best quality videos on YouTube, that's what matters to me. So the A7S III is one of the coolest tech. It's gonna help for the future and this camera's gonna last me for a good, I would say, five years or so. Or even longer than that because this is just a class of its own. 
we have the Samsung Galaxy Fold 2. Uh, I think I forgot the Z, but you guys get what I'm saying. The Galaxy Fold 2 is definitely the coolest tech of 2020. Now I got dislike bomb on my review because I was saying that this is not a phone for everyone because the price tag is $2,000, $2,000 for a phone, but it's not no regular phone. It's a tablet, it's a phone, you can fold it. It's cool, but think about it for a second. You could pick up an iPad and you could pick up a Google Pixel 4a and still have some money to spare. Now the Fold 2 is a fantastic device. I'm not saying it's a terrible device that you shouldn't buy, but think twice before buying. You know, that's what I was trying to say, but the Samsung Knights, they, were, they wasn't having it. So they dislike bomb it. I didn't turn off the, the ratings on that video. I left it as is, you guys can watch it yourself. But for the most part, I still want to rate it as one of the coolest uh, products of 2020. When you show your grandmother that, I showed my grandmother that phone, she was like, her eyes, her eyebrows raised up, like, like, you get what I'm saying? Like, it's, it just turns so many heads when you unfold that device. Just the wow factor of that is just insane. Props to Samsung. I'm not hating on the phone. People think I hate the phone. I don't hate it, but just think twice because $2,000, man, that's a lot of freaking money for a phone. And, um, and just, you know, just think twice. That's all I'm trying to say. I'm just trying to help you guys out. But if you have the money and you want to kill it off, then yeah by all means. Next up on the list, we have the Grid Studio Frame. They gifted me this and I absolutely love it. The iPhone 4S was my first iPhone that I activated. It was very controversial because I had the Sidekick and somebody went in my bag in middle school and took that phone and it was just a big mess. So when my mom got me the iPhone 4S, my dad was not having it. So it was beef at one point, but at the same time, I handled that phone like a champ. It was in mint condition, and I kind of regret selling it to this day, but I have another iPhone 4, so yeah. So the iPhone 4 will always hold a special place in my heart, and you guys can use the link in the description for $20 off. This is just incredible, and my name is engraved, Simply Pops, and even Steve Jobs' signature is on there too. So this is, this is just definitely a good gift to give to someone, whoever is a big Apple fan, or even better yet, if they have a Blackberry or a Nokia phone, they have so many different teardowns just for a display here. So this is gonna go up on my wall. Uh, I just gotta buy the mounts. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do it. And I wanna get like some kind of light to shine it. But yeah, this right here is beautiful to look at and it's just a showcase piece. All right, I'm gonna actually let this rock right here. Can we let this rock right here? Yeah. All right, next up on the list, we have the Escher's Wallet. They're now, I think they're doing a, some kind of sale right now, and I technically got this last year, but this definitely did play a huge role. Having a tracker built into your wallet is definitely life-saving, because there's a lot of times I freak out and I can't find my wallet, but I could be able to track it on my phone. That is just like incredible. Ring my wallet. So you guys see it? I press this button on the bottom, all the cards pop out. Let me make sure, okay, yeah, we good. <laughs> and yeah, we just good, good we, we good to go. Anytime I press that button, it turns heads, like it raises eyebrows too. So this wallet is definitely one of my favorites. Um, and yeah, they still selling it this year. You have different uh, color combinations. So technically it's still new. I just got this last year and you guys can see the wear and tear of it. Um, but the longer you have it and the more, you know what I mean? The longer you have it, for some reason, it just looks different compared to when you first get your wallet. So the, the leather would age well, so to speak. And that's basically it. Now, the only thing that's missing right now is my 100,000 subscriber play button. It's a good chance, it's a very good chance that I could hit 100,000 subscribers this month or next month, January. It's coming soon, we had 93, thousand subscribers which is just insane that is nuts and you guys understand whoever been with me since day one or know me personally you guys understand i worked hard for this and um the fact that we so close to it is just insane so i would have put it on my dope tech of 2020 but i don't have it currently in 2017 when i hit 10,000 subscribers uh, somebody reached out to me saying like, yo, you know, we can send you out a play button. It's just custom made. It's not official from YouTube, but they send this out to me and it kind of gave me a feeling on how the play buttons would work, but the play buttons changed up now. But just the fact that I can get an official play button from YouTube and get that letter and get verified on YouTube, that is just insane. So 
Thank you guys so much for all of your support this year. It's just been an amazing journey and I'm definitely ready for 2021. It's gonna be bigger and better than ever before. And as you guys can see, this was definitely one of my most expensive year. Let's hit it, man. I know we can hit it. I know we can do it. Make sure you guys subscribe with notifications on. Help me reach 200,000 subscribers. And yeah, I'm just grateful. Even if we don't hit it this month, I'm still grateful to be in this position. And I don't take you guys for granted at all. And I just definitely love you guys. Each and every one of you guys, whether you subscribe today, yesterday, tomorrow, it just don't matter because you guys took the time out to even subscribe and like the video. And I just, I love you guys. And, and um, I'm gonna keep up the good work next year. All right, guys, that's where I'm gonna conclude today's video. And I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Peace.